So, do you have people on your team that don't recruit? They may not not be recruiting for the reason you may think. So let's talk prospecting and recruiting. It's one of my favorite things to talk about, one of my favorite things to teach. It's one of my favorite things about being in affiliate marketing or network marketing, quite honestly, is meeting people, finding out what they need, and offering a solution. Essentially, prospecting and recruiting. So, I am Erin Birch. I help people gain the skills and the mindset to grow a successful all online business. Mindset is a huge component in you being successful in building your business. So let's talk about people who don't prospect and recruit, even though they say they really want to grow a successful business. I'm going to tell you what it's not due to. It is not due to laziness. They're not being lazy. It is my belief that nobody's actually lazy. There's a deeper reason people don't do the things they know they need to do. This comes to business, this comes to your health, to absolutely anything in life. I don't believe it boils down to laziness ever. There's always a deeper reason, and that reason is what's going on between their ears. So when people aren't recruiting, aren't building a team, even though that's kind of their goal, they lack confidence in themselves. Ever have these thoughts? I sure have. I don't know what to say. I don't want this person to think I'm pushy. I don't have the right words. When do I make an offer? How do I transition the conversation from shooting the shit to talking business? Right? So it's a lack of confidence they have in themselves, like I did, not knowing what to say and not knowing when to say it. Next reason is because they're afraid of leadership. They're afraid to lead. I remember having this conversation with myself when I had started my business. I was, I was in for about like two and a half months and I wanted to build a team. I loved this industry. I loved the business model. But I remember going, oh my God, I've never led anyone before. I've never led a single person. And now I'm supposed to build this team and lead this team? And I remember it was paralyzing. I didn't have the knowledge, the skills to do that, the experience to do that. Right? Ever think that to yourself? But here's the truth. These leaders you see out in the market, you know, online who have been leading for a long time and are successful, they too started with zero experience. They may have done some leading in what they did before they started their business and I'm betting you have some leadership skills you've learned along the way in your life, even if you weren't a big leader. Guess what? If you're a parent, you're a leader. Think about it. I am betting in whatever you are currently doing for your work now, a job, or, you know, if you no longer have a job and you're building an all online business, I guarantee there are times in your life where you did lead and you didn't even realize it. Right. And another thing is like, as nobody starts out being a leader, these skills are learned. Nobody starts out being a leader. They are learned. So what you want to do is start doing some research. A, go on YouTube, study leadership. There's a shit ton of leadership books out there. Also, get to know some really good leaders, some experienced leaders, and start emulating them. It's one thing I did. I was fortunate enough to have some mentors right in the, like four months in when I started my business, and they are incredible leaders, inc like way beyond my leadership years experience-wise. And I learned from them. I watched what they did, you know, and oftentimes if something came up in my business or something in my team or whatever, I don't know, maybe somebody left a negative comment in the group chat and I'm like, what do I do? The old me would be like, ooh, get mad at the person, not the new me, not the new me. I've completely changed. I've become much wiser. So what I would do when I was unsure how to deal with the situation as a leader leading a team, this is one thing I would do. I would ask myself, 
how would that person, this leader, how would Brian or how would John or how would Michelle deal with this situation? And I would deal with the situation the way I thought they would deal with it. And it was usually bang on. It was almost bang on. And I began to deal with things in um, more as a leader rather than an amateur. So you have to be easy on yourself. You got to go gentle on yourself. You don't, you can't expect yourself to be this experienced leader without any experience. You have to gain that experience. But there's things you can do to speed up the process of you becoming a good leader, right? Read books, watch other people, all that good stuff. But you're going to become a good leader through experience. You just start leading. And you know, if you've ever been in a situation where you were in a company and you didn't have a leader, maybe you joined your BFF who didn't have any experience or you joined someone who quit right away, whatever it may be, think about the things that you would have appreciated in a leader and start doing those things. Start showing up as the leader you wish you had. So, hey, Pamela, I have my glasses on so I can't see everyone who's on here. Hey, Star! Uh, hey, Anne, I can make out a few names. I'm going blind without my glasses. My gosh. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. You know, there's only a certain amount that you can do for other people. And sometimes it can be heartbreaking when you see so much potential in a person. And if you're like, if only you would take action. I know you could absolutely crush it. But people don't take action, not because of laziness, in my opinion, but because the, the issues between their ears, limiting personal beliefs, not thinking they're good enough, not thinking they're smart enough, thinking no one's going to take them seriously. What if I mumble my words? Who gives a shit? You just have to get started. The only way to get better at something is by doing it. And also think of like as a leader, if, you, if you're freaked out about being a leader, here's the deal. You're human. You're only human, just like your teammates are only human. They're not expecting you to be superhuman. One thing I will share with my team is if I, if I make a mistake or I mess something up, I'll tell my team, oh my God, you guys, I just totally messed this thing up, you know, and it's appreciated because we're all human. We all mess things up, right? Life is not meant to be smooth sailing. You wouldn't learn enough along the way and you'd be coming back and coming back and coming back and coming back. It's rough for a reason because you learn more that way. So there you go. Don't be afraid to step into the role of leadership. There's people out there who are looking for you. They're looking for you to help them. And if you're not showing up and offering help, whether it be your business opportunity, your coaching, your affiliate program, whatever it may be, if you're not offering that help to somebody, then you're doing them a great disservice. Don't do that. That's being selfish, wouldn't you say? That's being selfish. If you're talking to somebody and like, oh my God, they like totally need extra money. I could totally show them my business opportunity and help them make money, but I don't want them to think I'm being pushy, so I won't offer it. I won't mention it. Are you helping that person? Nope. You're certainly not helping you either. I always say this. I, when I'm training on prospecting and closing, I always talk about how if you're not making offers, then you're stuck in your own head. You're busy, focused on what the other person is going to think of you. If you were focused on them, you'd be going, oh my God, she could totally crush it working with me in my business opportunity. And it would make life so much easier for her and her family if she was making some extra money from phone, from her phone, from home, from anywhere, from soccer practice, whatever. Right? So you offer it because you're a good human and they're probably a good human too. And they could use the help. We could all use help at times, right? Times are tough. Like, let's be honest. Times are friggin' tough right now. And it's not going to get easier for a while. I'm just saying <laughs> So there's a lot of people who are in a really tough financial situation right now. Look at all the tech jobs. 
Look at all the people who are losing their jobs over the next couple of months in the tech world. We're talking hundreds of thousands of people. It's rough out there. Inflation, the whole bit. So we got to help each other out. We as good humans got to stick together, right? You're a good human? Offer, offer your help. Anyway, that being said, if you could use a way to make some extra money, message me. I can help you. I can show you what I'm doing. I believe in multiple streams of income. I've got a couple amazing streams of income that I can share with you and help you get going. So if you want some help to get going, building building a little a side hustle, side gig, or a full-time gig, either way, I can help you. I, I'm building my business full-time. I am full-time in the online space. So if you want some help, I can help you. So I hope those tips help you out. I love you. Thank you for joining me tonight. Bye, guys.